Hey what's up guys, SK here, and today's video is going to be about a mechanic in the game that I just figured out. I'm not sure how people know about this, but I just figured it out personally um, last night while I was kind of just muddling around because I'm stuck, kind of. Um, I am just running through doing the prestige quest to get um, loyalty points. Anyway, so the mechanic is using the artisan union and using your points with them to buy these things down here. Where are they at? Oh, warp scroll. Now these warp scrolls they cost fifty um artisan union points a piece. And of course you know about the jump pad because jump pads help you get somewhere higher so you can access like um you access some of the chests that you can't get to um like the ancient chests. But the warp scroll teleports you to a random location within the area. When it says in the area, it means in the region that you are in. So if I use it right now in Kazakor Plains, it's going to take me to someplace in the Kazakor Plains. Whereas if I use it somewhere in, say, Eidolon Forest, like I did earlier, it's going to take you to a place in Eidolon Forest. And, um,. When it takes you to that area, that means there is going to be a treasure chest in that area, or you've already found the treasure chest in that area, so there's no chest there. Now, it did teleport me to a spot where there was a treasure chest and an ancient chest before. So, that might be a way to find out where treasure chests are and ancient chests are, or well, where ancient chests are. It 100% finds out where any treasure chests are that you haven't found. And it's always going to take you to an area where there are treasure chests or was a treasure chest. So if you found a treasure chest in that area already, and you're not seeing one there now, that's probably why. Now, <laughs> earlier I um I was recording for this video specifically, and it took me to a spot where there was a treasure chest that I found just recently before actually using the scroll. But this time, I did another channel, and by accident, I bumped into a smuggler. So that happened. So I'm not sure if that's 100% everywhere or if it's just um, if that was just by chance in that spot. But um, I'll actually show the clip in a little bit here. Now, this is useful for people that don't have all the like pad space that they want because I'm at, at like 104 right now because of all that. I was at 100 before um, I found that out, and I got no, I was at 99 before I found that out, and it got me like five more bag space. So. It actually worked out in my favor. Now, when it comes to using that in certain spots, like if you use it here in Northern Spirios, it's all going to teleport you to the spot up here. Because there's a treasure, there was a treasure chest up here where um, the mobs are, and that's the other spot's going to take you for this area right here. I think that's um, let's see, yeah, that's the other spot's going to take you. I don't know why it took me there twice no three times in a row when I used it so don't use it when you're in this area that's my only advice for you with that part um other than that have fun with that mechanic guys and uh hopefully that helps you guys be able to increase increase your backspace so yeah peace uh we're gonna use another scroll I'm pretty sure every other chest in every other portion of the map I've found already. So this is kind of it's kind of just moot point at this point. I'm at 101, I think, right now, or should be at 101 with the four pack pieces I have in my inventory right now. And then after this, we're gonna go to Ostium and we're gonna show you guys where this. Yeah, I've collected the chest from here earlier. When I use it, and there's a smuggler merchant over there. That was random. So, does it take you to where a smuggler merchant is as well? So, his stuff's already bought, so somebody already knew he was here. That sucks. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this pinky. No, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well, whatever. So, I already done it. I've already done it. Why have you done this? Somebody bought all of his heal potion threes. So this is another, um, this is a surprise, first of all. So this is another area where the smuggler can be. So does it take you to an area where the smuggler might be as well? Who knows? This might also be a thing. Wait, all the... Okay. 
crap it that me. <laughs> are all the um union merchants are they all ipping? Because if so, that kinda makes sense then. Nah, we're not gonna theory craft that. that that's, that's probably absurd, right? That's probably absurd. Yeah, there was a chest over there I got earlier, so. Like I said, it's gonna take you to spots where you found chests already. So if you wanna know what an ancient chest looks like, that's what it looks like right there. If you look on my mini map at the top right, you're gonna see that there's a chest up there on like it's it's on an elevated area, first of all. If you look closely, you'll see let's see, can I zoom that in? I have to go closer to it and then do it. Okay, it won't even really zoom in that much. But you can see the difference between that chest and if I do this. This person's been trying to get to this chest too. I realize it. And this chest up here. So you see that chest and this chest. They're are, they're very distinctly different. When you look at the area around the map, you'll see it's like a like a skull, I guess. And I died. But anyway, you'll see like it's a skull. And um, see they're trying to get to it now too, but you can't get to it. Because it's like bugged up there. I tried to use a jump pad earlier, and it like smacked into an invisible wall. So I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. I'm do like that forever, I guess. Um, until they fix it, until they, fo until they fix the rest of the chests in the game. But, um, yeah, that's a distinct difference between those two chests, especially when you look at the corner of the chest. You see it has, like, um, two bars on the side instead of the regular chest where it just has a one straight bar. This one has two bars on the side and it has the, um, where it shows that... This person, this person trying to kill me. Like, you trying to revive me? That's even more dumb. <laughs> Uh, anyway, but yeah, like if you saw the chest, like if you pay attention, you saw that the chest had um like two stripes on the side instead of the one solid bar or one solid stripe, and that's how you tell the difference between regular chests and um ancient chests. So yeah, hopefully that is helpful to you. Um, and so hopefully this video helped you out when it comes to you know finding your chest throughout the game. Like I said, use those Union Scrolls if you don't have them. If you have points and you're not using them for anything else, buy some more Scrolls, teleport around the game, find all your chests, and call it a day. Get all your inventory. I'm at 101 right now. I should be at 102 once I turn in the last um, few of these. I will do it later. But hey, thanks for watching, guys. This has been another bus. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.